All right, hello everybody and welcome Camden County College Cougar Esports and we are underway UCM versus Camden County College Game number one and a best of five set and the Cougars will draw first blood and it will be Exodus With a great shot there So drawing first blood are the Cougars of Camden County up one to zero. This is week five, by the way. So we are uh, well. We're, we're past the midway point in the regular season. UCM struggling thus far this season. The Cougars with only one loss on their record. But if anyone remembers, they did lose two. Now I count them two games in the first two weeks when they eventually came back to win it all. So. I don't know, maybe they need to lose again, who knows? X up. Goes for that 50. And an Exodus eyeing that one up. Exodus gonna send that one deep into the UCM zone, but it gets sent right back here. And now there's Ant who passes it to Exodus. It goes wide. And right now it's the Cougars controlling the tempo. The demo comes out. All of Cougars getting involved here. X with a nice pass here. Ant had the control. X with the demo. Wide open. So up two goals to zero. UCM uh, still in this one, of course. Three minutes and 30 seconds to go. Plenty of time. Ball sent to the corner. Ooh, Exodus gets it past all, all three, but nobody at home. This is going to be a shot. Awkward, but Ant does have the save. Now Hershey bred another save from Ant. And it's an awkward situation. Awkward ball. Double commit there. Comes out from Exodus and Ant. And the Cougars in control, but a little bit messy. By the way, everybody who uh, is watching here, we will have a second game. Rocket League White can have their game right after this one, so we're going to have a double header. It is going to happen. Oh, another shot, but a save. The Cougars only with a two-goal advantage right now. They have, I think, that, I mean, as far as I'm concerned, they have been the aggressor. Awkward ball here. Grease going to get a shot off. Ant with the save. The Cougars struggling to get it out of their zone. Exodus is up and he'll need to have a hero save and does. But now here comes Ant who has a full head of steam. Gets the demo shot on. Might have control here. Passes it back. Exodus waiting for it. Has it sent to X. All Cougars touching the ball now. Ant with some control. It gets passed up here. Ant with a shot sent away by Awesome Austin. 50 ball is going to give UCM an opportunity. Hershey Bread takes just a second. Takes his foot off the pedal. Gets X to whiff. And Ant left in no man's land. UCM claws back 2-1. Anything can happen. Plenty of time in Rocket League, a minute and 45 seconds, a veritable eternity. Ant gets, gets the ball past Austin. X gets demoed. Ant doesn't quite have the control. Gets it past another. Can he, and he gets, and yet another, dicing up the UCM defense in Exodus. Gets a little bit aggressive. Gets physical on the boards. Exodus with a full head of steam. Has the shot. It was X that had has a number of saves here in this one. So 3-1. UCM gives back the advantage in 30 seconds. It's now... Two goal deficit for them. Oh, and with a shot! Oh my goodness, it took two! 
UCM defenders to pull that one out. Now Exodus just getting uh, some touches in the air. Not quite a flip reset. X up. Gets the touch. Sent over to Ant. A Grease here. Who has been an, uh, an impact player. Exodus meets the ball in midair for the save. Grease is up. He's got some moves in the net. Exodus off the backboard. And we had a, okay, we had, it's a two, uh, two on two, at least for the moment. Austin gets bumped away. I think that was friendly fire. Exits with two goals here, and he's going to pass it to X, who takes just a little bit off. And it, uh, that will be all she wrote. In game number one, the Cougars... taking that one game advantage so um we'll be right back everybody it's gonna go fast and furious here rocket league there's no west for the weird <laughs> rest excuse me for the weary. so we'll be right back Welcome back, everybody. Right back at it. Camden County College up one game to zero as we look to get things started. The UCM defense was actually pretty good. I mean, they they've a team struggling right now. Considering the pedigree that the Cougars have shown, a 3-1 loss isn't so bad as that Ant will get things started right away. Only 35 seconds off the clock, and Austin just struggling there. Awkward positioning. But nevertheless, the Cougars will strike first. Open net, but X is going to send that one to the opposite end, and I think he's just going to get a jailbreak goal. He will. X scoring that one. And usually when you see something like that, that's typically that situation where the other team, UCM here in this case, pressing up very aggressively. But the really good teams can still do that and have somebody rotating back to at least get a touch. Send it to your opposite corner. Not able to happen that time. As now Hershey Bread tries to get something going. X demoed, at least for the time being. Exodus almost gets a touch there. Awkward situation. Ant going to have to play hero. But UCM able to score a goal. Exodus beaten there by Greece. X also went for something. But uh, not able to get a touch there. So, here we go. We have a game 2-1. The Cougars up in this one. Oh, it should have been a shot there. It's going to be just a little floater from Exodus. X so good with those redirects there. Has that fantastic game sense. Three to one. The Cougars have found some offense here. Ant 
Gets sent the ball here. X with that redirect that we just talked about, but Austin ready for it, sends it away. Exodus looks to collect possession here. Over to Ant, who has the shot. It's going to be high. Has the redirect, though. The rebound. Exodus not quite ready for it. Ant has his own rebound, scoring 4-1. to one. Exodus there. Was it planned? Tactical whiffing, perhaps. Just wants to be the good guy. Give it over uh, to Ant. Four goals to one as the Cougars are getting comfortable here. Austin with some possession. Red has it as well. And Exodus with another touch over to Ant. And suddenly this is possible. There's something that can be done here. Ant with another touch still has possession. Greece gets in the way. And now all eyes on Exodus who has it in his own end. Enough boost to get up again. Has that touch. Might have another opportunity. No, it would be Hershey Brett, who has a shot on. UCM, their offense looks to come alive now in this one as well. 4-2, a whole lot of work to be done, but they are hanging tough. They are hanging in there. Double hit there, a pinch. It's gonna make it very awkward. Not sure who that was. I believe it was Exodus who was able to send that one wide. Great reaction time, Ant now with it. Gets it over one. Austin gonna to have to be in a weird situation. Gets it over another, surely a shot! And Ant has it! It was Ant on a solo play, beating everybody. Put Austin in a weird situation, beats Grease. Beats Hershey Bread as well. Fantastic nifty movie moves there. 5-2 as the Cougars have come alive. Both teams finding some offense now in this one. Exodus up, and he's got the shot. It'll take two, and he's going to be able to just put this one in a weird situation. Sent away by Hershey Bread. Just taking his time there. A flip off the wall. And UCM giving the Cougars a little too much space. Ant with that touch. And now you're seeing the kind of pressure the Cougars can put on. Exodus with it. Ant maybe went for the steal there. I'm not sure. 6-2. As Cougars now really... Having control, four goals, quite a lot to give up in two minutes, but uh, it's definitely not impossible. UCM would have to get a score quickly. Ant with it, tries to get another touch, does, has even more, beats one, beats two, and it's seven goals, four for Ant. The Cougars absolutely warm now. Exodus with it, but X immediately gaining possession. Ant sends it away to the opponent corner. UCM looking for some answers. And right now it's, it's just a mechanical difference. Another shot on sliced. Exodus almost has that one. Does keep possession. X in the air. Sent over to Ant now. Who again has found quite a bit of comfort. A lot of second and third touches in these flights. Grease beats X underneath. And sent to Exodus. Who's again in a bit of a weird spot. But has just enough of a touch to prevent any sort of offense from materializing that time. All right, here it comes and again. A UCM might get a goal here. No, Ant with the hero defense. And the and UCM not able to deposit that one. Unfortunate, that's when you just go, all right, I'm going next. Not that it would have much mattered, but it's right now it's all about trying to find something to feel good about. 
And 7-2 is certainly not that. A double demo, 2-2. Two, two. two on two, I should say. For a moment, Exodus is up with, with Ant. And X on the respawn gets demoed again. So right back to it. And the Cougars will take game two, looking for just one more to seize the week five victory. And we'll be right back. Unlucky face-off there for Camden County. As, U as UCM sends two. And deposits the goal. So that's something to feel good about. And now a weird situation there. X has... I was going to say, X actually uh, had, had a good save there. But um, some awkward defense here. Awkward positioning is going to lead to a UCM 2-0 lead to start. And only 11 seconds gone. The Cougars' demeanor still looks pretty good, though. They feel confident that they can get some scores on. Austin with control tries to beat Ant. Can't. Now Ant with some possession gets a touch on that 50 ball. Now Exodus with that 50 ball win. A weird situation. Double commit from UCM. Ant trying to find a touch. And can't. Exodus is going to have to cut this one off, but it's still going to be advantage in possession. UCM. Ant sends that away, one away. X sends it forward into the offensive zone. And Exodus is up. Misses that. Which is not going to turn into a goal yet. Oh, and now Ant with a breakaway. Not able to beat Grease to the spot. Exit is going to send this one high and wide. But Austin keeps it alive. Three minutes and 40 seconds remaining. The Cougars, again, struggling to find some offense with a pass, but somehow Hershey Bread is there to contest. Ant going to send this one downfield. Hat tries to find a solo shot. Nobody at home to deposit that one. X gets this touch. It's not a shot on. Awkward rebound. Exodus up with a full head of steam. Sent over. X is also up. And Ant with possession. Tries to stuff him here. X sends it middle. Has the shot, but the defense is there. Oh, and Ant with some nifty moves in the sky. Almost has his own. The defense from UCM has been stout. the one thing that you can almost always rely on is defense. Sometimes the shots are not going to fall. And so far, that's what we're seeing here. Oh, Austin had an opportunity there. Lost some momentum, and now Ant's going to have to just kill some clock. Weird situation. Turns into possibly a goal from UCM. No! Still remains an, a two-goal deficit. Two minutes to go. X is up. It's the shot on. Grease is there. Exit is here to collect it. To try and keep it going. 
Ant sends this one wide, excuse me, he sends it far, and somehow Hershey Bread whiffs. But Grease will be there to collect, no doubt. X sends this one up. Over to Exodus to collect. So here we go. UCM, the defense has been there, no doubt about it. Ant is up. But Hershey Bread sends that one away. As the Cougars will back away and reset. Minute and 20 left. Not a lot of time remaining in this one. Exodus and Ant eyeing the same ball in a weird situation. Not a shot on, but a lot of time going off the clock. And right now the Cougars just struggling to get any sort of offense going. They finally do, and this has to be a goal, surely! And it will be Ant with another goal. And UCM, who had put up fantastic defense for so long, it was Austin on the wall, could not collect, collect it, could not corral it, which yields a Cougars goal and a score. So here we go, two goals to one, 44 seconds just to get one, ain't so bad. Totally can be done. Exodus with the shot on, and it's, oh my god, it's gonna find Pater! And UCM had put up fantastic defense for so long. The defense had been there, but slips through their fingers at the very end, so we might be headed to OT. X thought about collecting that one. Now it's going to be advantage to UCM. A weird spot to be, but Ant pre-jumps, has the read. Gets another touch. And now looks to have some possession and a full head of steam. A whole lot of boost in the tank. Goes down, gets stuck. Would have been the game, surely. X is up. Does X is have the shot? He does. And what a what heartbreak for UCM to have been in the lead for so long. The defense was there, and now only seven seconds to get something going. Five seconds now, X with possession, that might just be it. And it will surely touch here, as the Cougars will win game three in a best of five set, and will take us to a match number two, so everyone stay tuned for that. We now have um, Rocket League White coming up. So we will be back in just a little while. So see you soon.
All right, welcome back, everybody. Western Illinois University, the Leathernecks, the next to take on Camden County College. This is Rocket League White we are watching here. And we what we did miss is that WIU got a score right off the faceoff. Tough, tough spot to be in if you're the Cougars, but it happens. Skazi up. Has the touch. Does he have possession? Almost. It's going to send right back to Dopak here, who misses it. Sinister up. Has possession. At least for the moment. Dopak in a weird spot. Skazi sends this one. Sends it rather deep. Dopak possibly waiting for boost. Maybe waiting for his teammate, Sinister. Has the save. Now Dopak looks to get something going here. What an awkward touch. I think that might just go in. Skazi has to dig it out. And does. Almost a double commit. Dopak eased off the, the accelerator. Gave it up here. A double double commit. Kind of a pinch situation. Skazi. With the shot. Almost. No. Sinister now is going to have to be the one to deposit it. Can't. Isn't there. Dopak goes up. Tries to keep this one alive. Sends it to Skazi. Who is going to send this into the offensive zone. Now Dopak eyeing it up. Has the shot. Skazi tries with the redirect. And now it sends it right to Sinister. With the wide open net. As the Cougars draw even at one apiece. And it was the Cougars that time with the relentless pressure against WIU.
This is still NSL Week 5, by the way. A different conference are the uh, Rocket League white team in. For anybody who might be uh, keeping up. I love that we get some extra Rocket League. What did everyone do to deserve as many as 10 Rocket League games in one night to spectate? It's fantastic. Here's Kazi. Bit of an interesting situation. Dopak. And now right to Sinister. This one's going to drop, but not right in front of the net. WIU with a full head of steam. Dopak sends that one to the WIU corner. Where they look to set up shop. Tries to get the redirect. Doesn't quite have it. Going to be sent here to Skazi, who doesn't have the read on the wall. It bounces a little bit further than he expected. But the 50 ball for Sinister. And Skazi with it. Two goals to one. As they've opened up a lead, Sinister beating one. And it was a weird situation there from the WIU player. Should have been, uh, that was Tabasco sauce there. T should have been cleared I, I, for my money. Now Dopak in the corner looks to gain some possession. Sends this one off the wall in middle. Redirected by WIU. Now Skazi with it and somehow squeaks by the WIU defenders. Which is going to require Megalodo to do something here. And Sinister with his back turned. Bicycles it away. Gazi has some possession, looks to get something going. A couple of players beaten, but needed to beat the last defender. Nobody there. Goka has the shot, but doesn't have the goal. Dopak with a good 50 beats too. And this one will make it in front of the net, but only for a brief second. Michael sending that one away. Sinister gets a piece, and that should be a scoring opportunity. Dopak a little bit tardy there, a little late. And it gets by Skozy. Oh, and Sinister in a really tough spot. I'm not sure how WIU doesn't turn that into at least a shot on. But regardless, the Cougars are the beneficiary. 30 seconds remaining. WIU, the Leathernecks gonna have to get something fast. 15 seconds, certainly enough time, but if if there's some whiffs, if there's some fumbles happening, maybe not. Now it'll be Dopak, who has to beat one and two and does killing the clock. Skazi comes in. And Dopak had fantastic defense there. Killed the clock very, very well. And there you have it, everybody. Game one in the books. And so we will be right back with some more Rocket League action. Game two underway in just a moment. Welcome back, everybody. Game number two, the Leathernecks versus the Cougars. Skazi look to get a second touch there. Dopak at least going to keep it in the offensive, sco uh, offensive zone. And now it, uh, the, uh, the Leathernecks have numbers, have all three. One gets beaten and a second beaten. But Dopak there to clear it. I'm surprised if you, uh, you didn't have a little bit more pressure. Dopak with the solo goal. Had the handle, had the shot. Beats Tabasco, who just vacates, thinks, I guess, that Megaloto is going to have that. But he wasn't ready for it. One to zero. The Cougars are the ones to strike first in this one.
Bopak beats out one player, tries to beat another, can't. Skazi with the touch, it's a 50 ball. Possession goes to WIU for the time being, and it's gonna be a shot on. Dopak is there, the defense is good. Can Skazi get a second or and or a third touch? Gets the second, not the third. Possession to, uh, looks like to Sinister, it will be. Sinister looks for a second touch here, gets it. It was a shot on, but uh, pretty easy one to defend. It's over top of Skazi, and now it is Dopak. And Skazi sends it ahead, Dopak! It was the two-man game. WIU's defense is up to the challenge that time. Sinister looks to get the ball off the wall, off the ceiling. At least slows it down. Dopak is up, gets another touch. And this ball is now just stuck here in the corner. They brought in Skazi. And the, the Cougars are at least putting on the pressure. No doubt about that. Dopak in the corner. Sends it all the way to the WIU side. Dopak with the pass. It's the shot. It goes wide. Had beaten the defender, but did not was not able to beat the goal, but it's sinister from the side. And it was three defenders all looking at the ball there from the Leatherneck side. Nobody at home to play goalie. Sinister E, the beneficiary, two goals to zero. 50 ball, pretty neutral on the face-off. The Sinister looks to get aggressive here. WIU able to clear it from their zone. Dopak is up, he's off the wall, he gets a touch. Skazi is past two, it's gonna be sent to the WIU corner. Awkward clear there, Sinister gets a shot on. And now it comes down to Dopak and a 50 ball. Tabasco actually uh, the winner there over Skazi just barely, almost. Skazi gets a touch and that's all he'll need. And now he gets momentum. He's met at the neutral field. Ooh, Dopak almost doesn't have that, that save. Would have been catastrophic. And Skazi thinks that there's a touch and whiffs. Awkward situation here. Sinister able to get it off the wall, looking for some, some sort of breathing room at clear. They get it, and now this ball is hanging out there. It's shootable. Dopak is up. It's high. The Cougars absolutely the aggressor. WIU only able to score off the faceoff in map number, excuse me, match number one. Nothing going after that moment. It has been great defense from Dopak, who's certainly been showing us a little bit of something. As Dopak sends it to Sinister, who gets it up here, and this is totally a scoring opportunity. It was not on, and Sinister not able to collect that one. Skazi gets this ball here, and I like what the Cougars are doing. It's been a lot of these neutral balls in the, in the middle of the field here that have been high, scorable for them. Two scores to zero, as Skazi doesn't quite collect that one. Sinister. It looked like all the Cougars there. I mean, Skazi certainly needs a touch there. Hard to defend that one when that one drops. But it looked like... They were all kind of deferring, kind of uh, sitting on their back foot, and I guess it was the caster's curse as WIU finally gets a score. Sinister collects it, has offense only for a moment as Dopak looks to try and cut this one off. It'll have to be Skazi who gets it past one defender. But here comes Tabasco Sauce to keep the possession alive. Skazi now with it. Neither team able to have really sustained offense here. Sinister is up. It's totally a shot. It's going to take all three WIU defenders. Dopak only gets a wheel on it. And here comes Skazi. Skazi might have an opportunity there. Thinks about turning. He does. Sinister, he sends it to him. Bit of a whiff from all the, all the players here. Sinister is up, another whiff, unfortunate for them. It'll be sent here to Sinister, who's gonna get it over one WIU defender, all three of the WIU Leathernecks in the corner. So a, uh, a weird spot to be, but they're just giving space to Dopak, who now has it, at least for the time being, sent to Sinister in the corner again. 
And the Cougars now just need to kill some clock here. Seven seconds remaining as WIU looks to mount one last ditch effort. Skazi on the wall, doesn't quite have it, but WIU with the chance, not able to deposit it as game two looks like it will go the way of Camden County. The Cougars, two games to zero. Currently in a best of five set, we have at least one more game, folks. So stay tuned for that. We'll have it for you in just a moment. Okay, welcome back. Two games to zero. WIU looking for some life here. We've seen some opportunity. We've seen some missteps from the Cougars as a demo comes through from Dopak. Sinister almost stuffs that one home and Skazi gets it over the top. And it's just pressure put on from Sinister there and Dope. All three of them really. The demo caught the defenders in a situation where they just could never really recover. One to zero. As the Cougars strike first, as they have in games uh, in game two. Sinister, in a, um, I was going to say, almost had an advantageous position, but the ball dropped straight forward. And here's Skazi now, who looks to get the redirect. He has it. Skazi, two goals. Who had been a little quiet in game number two, but not he not so much in game three, three being heard from now. WIU, you like? I mean, they're gonna have to play very aggressive. I think you're gonna have to. Um, well, maybe you're not in an emergency situation yet, but you might be. Oh wow, Tabasco uses the post for the save. Dopak with a very good um, setup there as Sinister deposits and suddenly the Cougars have broken this one open. And WIU, that's another situation there with that absolutely needs to be cleared. That's That particular goal is one, one of those ones I'd call a soft goal, a bit of soft serve coming up here. What kind of flavor soft serve was it? Who's to say? And now WIU not really able to get this one out of their own zone. Finally do. Dopak up. A bit of an awkward flight, but Sinister able to push that one away. And that's got to be a shot on as well. WIU just a little bit off. Leathernecks maybe feeling the pressure being down three goals to zero. Two games to zero. Sinister gets this one up, sent to Skazi, who tries to possibly, was it a fake? Not sure, Dopak just pushing the WIU defender off axis. Still three goals to zero, three minutes and five seconds now. Three minutes and five seconds to go. WIU. Should have had an opportunity there, I would think. Some packet loss being felt. Four goals to zero. Not sure what that was there. Skazi not able to get that one off the wall. But Sinister with a little bit more breathing room does. Four goals to zero. Three minutes, excuse me, two minutes and 55 seconds to go. And in threes, um, especially when the teams are relatively close, four goals is a lot. You're going to need some time to score that. Skazi goes up, doesn't have it. So WIU going to have to get something early. And Skazi easily can turn now on this. Sinister on the far right here, waiting for it. It's just going to hang out here. Skazi got that touch. Dope back was up. And now Dopak able to get it 
past a couple of defenders. Not sure how that one happened. A weird situation again where WIU just not aggressive enough defensively letting the Cougars play how they want to play. Topak sets up his teammate. Skazi is up. It takes two WIU defenders. A bit of a double commit. Megaloto, at least with the touch there, will keep offense alive. Possession WIU, but only for the time being as Wagoka here. Wow, and the Cougars, the offense really is here. Things are happening for them. Dupac sets up his teammate, or at least attempts to. And now with a minute and 35, five goals is near insurmountable, I would think at this point. Near in, 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 yeah, insurmountable. Forgot Somehow forgot to say that word for a moment. Um, so Sinister collects it. 50 ball heads toward WIU's possession, but Skazi is there, collects it. And this is totally a scoring opportunity, Dopak. It's going to have to be Johnny on the spot and is. And only a minute left in game three. The Leathernecks hopes alive, but only for a moment. Sinister. Gets a ball on the ground that he can handle. His flight was a little strange. That might be a goal. WIU prevents the shutout. Scores their first of, of the game here. And I think that was the third. I believe they've scored one every single game here. So their third goal of the series. But with four goals to go. And only 35 seconds now remaining. I don't think there's much hope left. Oh, it's Sinister almost with the redirect off the side. And now the Cougars looking to just kill clock at this point. 15 seconds remaining. Skazi puts a shot on. Easy defense. But it's Sinister up to contest. And that'll be it, as the Cougars will win this one three games to zero. We saw, if you're if you're keeping score, everybody, that was a, a total of six games to zero tonight for all of Camden County College Cougar Esports Rocket League. Absolutely love to see it. So um, that will be it. We will depart. Actually, hold on a second. I say that, but I'd love to do a player interview on the win. So uh, stay tuned. We hope to have that for you in just a moment.
All right, welcome back, everybody. I am with the player of the game, Skazi. Skazi. We had just had a conversation about was it Skazi or Skuzzy, and if you were wondering at home, it's Skazi. So Shane, welcome. Um, well played tonight. Um, we just have a couple questions for you. So I know that you guys um, have, I feel like you guys have been improving as a team as the season has gone along. You guys are a new squad together. Um, um, I know that you're new to the Rocket League team. It, do you agree with that? Have you guys been improving? Have you seen that? What, what is your sense of the team? Yeah, I think slowly and shortly we've been improving each practice, each game. Um, and it really just came to fruition today. Um, so I was really excited to see it. Awesome. Fantastic. So um, I know that you guys, I understand that you guys were also a part of a One Pill Can Kill event over, over the weekend, right? So how did that go? Tell us about that. Uh, so I think that really just launched us to have a good season uh, to make us win tonight. Um, we won our first round, lost our second round. We'll finish out to see if we uh, for the third place game tomorrow. Um, so I'm excited for that one as well. Awesome. So um, any early season? Well, I guess we're mid season at this point. Predictions? Um, how do you guys? How do you think you guys will end? I uh, honestly, we had this similar uh, start as Blue from last season, going 0 and 2. So. I'm hoping we can follow in their footsteps and just win out for it. Yeah, I mean, it's totally possible. Like you said, I mean, I called that out exactly that way on the stream, which is, you know, it, to, sometimes it's almost good to have a little bit of a slow start, um, to be challenged early and not to be waiting until the playoffs to be challenged. So, um, we of course, we saw some fantastic play from you. Any particular plays come to mind that you want to call out? I heard something about a double tap. Um, what was going on there? Uh, so, yeah, I just took it up the sidewall. Uh, I always try to follow it, never sure if I can actually get back to it, but I was able to this time. So it was really nice to see it. Uh, just all that practice come, come, to, come to work in the game. All right, fantastic. And then the last thing I want to ask you, um, as I always do, is, uh, you know, where can we – can you plug – do you have anything to plug, any shout-outs, anything – anyone in my be watching, can we find you anywhere else? Um, definitely a shout out to my teammates. They played great. They really uh, put put in the work and helped out where they could. Um, obviously, Jake, Emil downstairs is a big part of my uh, routine. Talking to him every day, I come in. Um, and Tank from the Siege team really helped us out with the pep talk to start it off. So definitely, uh, definitely credit to Tank for helping that out. And it takes a village. It takes a village. Fantastic. Um, anything else? Any parting words? Uh, I'm just looking for a good rest of the season from both us and Blue. All right, fantastic. Well, we got we were certainly treated that, to that tonight with six games um, to, to zero tonight for, for Camden County Rocket League. So fantastic. Congratulations again on the win. Hope to see you again, Shane. So everybody, Skazi, make sure to, uh, you know, give it up in chat a little bit here. For, all right, so everyone, thank you so much for watching, and we will be on, uh, the stream will be on uh, tomorrow night for with some Overwatch. Hopefully, um, yeah, we might see you there, possibly. So st stay tuned for that, everybody, all right? So thanks so much for watching, everybody.